So I thought I'd come out this afternoon because it's quite sunny and quite warm in the sun and I'm just trying to do a little painting. I'm sat right at the top of Kim Martin. Let me just turn you round, I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm trying to capture that scene over there and particularly the clouds and the um, skyline. Um, the coast is just in front of me. The tide is actually going out. If I stand up you can see where it's going out to. It's going out over there. Beyond the little bandstand and those two guys there. Anyway, I just thought I'd sit here and do a little painting. And some nice benches here, so I'm sat up here. Just got this tiny little box of watercolours and this tiny little sketchbook. It's no bigger than my hand, if you can see. There we are. It's a tiny little sketchbook. I love this sketchbook because I can usually shove it in my bag. Anyway, I've just blocked in some colours and I particularly like the clouds there and the skyline. So that's what I'm just trying to capture. It's just a quick little watercolour sketch and there's, as you can see down there, there's quite a lot of rocks, small rocks that's exposed now the coast now the sea's going out, so I'm going to just dab, see if I can dab some of those into this. Just use some black and I can just show you what I'm going to do. Literally just, actually I'll use some of this colour here that's already mixed. There, like this. It's like all these little rocks which I like can't see them when the tide's in but as soon as the tide goes out you get all these little stones actually they're not little stones they're quite big rocks so that's the start of them I'll go back into them in a minute and put a bit more definition trouble is with watercolour you always have to wait till it dries and I'm very impatient, so I tend to just go into it, start working into it, see what happens. Sometimes, sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's a little messy. But I kind of like to add different colours to it. Because the rocks are all sorts of different colours, even though when you look across at them, they're sort of dark grey. But actually, when you get up close to them, there's dibs and dabs of all sorts. So that's what I quite like to do. Whoop, just splashed it. And now let's just dab that up. Although it wouldn't matter because it's very much like a rock. Also, there's lots of there's lots of greenery, which is gorgeous. The greenery on top of the rocks is amazing, actually. So you get all these lovely textures of hard and soft, soft of the, soft with the foliage and all the greenery. Then you get these hard rocks. I'm just going to add a bit more colour because. Watercolour always dries 30% lighter. You can guarantee it's never the shade that you want it to be. So you can always go back into it and add other bits of colour. That's what I'm trying to do. Just heard a car go by. There's a couple of young guys, they've gone. I'm just going to leave it there a minute. The water, though it's it's not showing, it's showing a little bit blue over here, obviously because of the cloud formation. But further around here, it's quite dark. Let me just show you that. It's quite dark down there. I will try and put some dark bits in, around the rocks particularly. 
underneath the rocks, the shaded, the shadows, not the shaded, the shadows under the rocks. And along this edge is quite dark. Let's just add a little bit of darkness there. More definition. More dark here. I love this blue. I think it's a Prussian blue, I'm not sure, but it's in this little watercolour set. Actually, I've got a. It's a Darla Rowney watercolour set. I've actually got the um, inside my little sketchbook there, my pencil case. I've got the watercolour. I must look that blue up because I love it. It's really good. It's dark, lovely and dark. It's great underneath those rocks. Gives some sort of definition. I love painting outdoors. It just makes you look more carefully at what's going on out there and it makes you study makes me study formation of the rocks for one and it makes you ask questions is it in front or behind you know and i'm looking across there is that is that dark bit in front or behind? So I'm always questioning what's going on there. So that's why I like painting out of doors. Anyway, I hope you like that little sketch. It's quite free and splash the colour on a bit. But thanks for watching.